hello there and welcome to this short lesson and for this lesson i'm i'm going to use the iris data set to predict the class to which the plants belong and for this classification method i'm going to use the k nearest neighbors classification and the k nearest neighbors classifies new cases by a majority votes of its k neighbors and you can choose to set the k neighbors to any value but it's always advised to choose a smaller value so that it can increase the accuracy of the model and Something else to note is that this classification model is non-parametric in nature, meaning that it uses the flexible parameters and the number of parameters often grows as the algorithm learns from more data. So to start with, we've said the question in place is to predict the class to which these plants belong. So the first step as always, because I'm using Google Colab, is to import our libraries. So we import our NumPy as NP, import matplotlib as PLT and import pandas as PD. So the next step is to read our data set to a pandas data frame and i've set the name to be iris here so we read it and we, just, we can try and preview it and as you can see the columns don't look uniform because they lack column names so the next step is to assign our columns names and after assigning our columns names and previewing the first five the, the previewing the first five you can see that our data now looks more uniform because the first column we've set it to be sepal length sepal width as the second column petal length petal width and class this is the dependent variable is the last column so after that you can perform some data cleaning and we first start by looking for null values and our data set does not have null values then we try and look for duplicates and our data set has three duplicates then we drop the duplicates and after that now we move on to splitting our data sets into its attributes and labels this can be also put as into its independent and dependent variables so the dependent variable is the class so it's the fourth it's the fifth column the column name starts from zero so that's why here we have the value of four and after splitting our data set into both the independent and dependent variable we can now import the train test split so that you can avoid overfitting of our model and we set the test size to be at 20 percent that means the train set the train size is at 80 percent and then we import we perform some feature scaling so that you can ensure uniformity in our features after that we do training and predictions and for this to happen we have to import in our classifier method that is the k neighbors classifier and then we set the k the n neighbors to be five i said if you set it at a smaller value it means that the, your model will be more accurate mm -hmm. so we set it at five and after setting it at five you can see that it has brought the output of this code is that we are using the k neighbors classifier then the final step is to make prediction on our data set and on predicting it brings out the classes that these plants belong into so the last and the most important step is evaluating how our model performed that is the algorithm the machine learning algorithm and by doing this we have to we i decided to use a confusion matrix whereby i'll get the f1 score from precision and recall precision and recall is the cases of false positives being positive and false negatives being negative yeah so as you can see our f1 score was at one so that means from this confusion matrix we predicted on the first class we predicted 13 correctly 8 correctly on the second class and 9 correctly on the third class so our accuracy was also at 1 and our f1 score was at 1 for all of them that means our model performed really well and it was very accurate so thank you that's how that's one example of how you can use the k nearest neighbors classifier thank you